Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick weather update for you for Saturday evening. Again, relatively quiet, but we have more chances of showers and thunderstorms throughout the rest of the evening, and unfortunately, that could cause some problems for travel into tomorrow morning. If you're heading out to church, Sunday school, or wherever you may be going, we will be looking for the potential of some more wet roadways. So taking it easy, a little bit of extra time would not be such a bad idea. That includes into overnight as well. Heading home from some of those athletic contests out there or wherever you happen to be, a little bit of extra safety and a lot less speed would be a very good idea for tonight. Coming up in just a little bit, we'll take a look at some of more of your weather pictures in just a little while. We'll also take a look at the tropics, which after a nice lull in the activity is getting back to active status again. We don't have any hurricanes immediately, but we do have a lot of other systems to take a look at here coming up in just a little bit. If you got any weather pictures, we'd love to see them. You can send them along to me on my Facebook page, and you can find that information at the blue bar at the bottom of your screen, red bar down that direction. That's the forecast information, and you can also get that available here at wreg.com slash weather. There's a little teaser hint for you, 7 to 10 day forecast right there. And of course, if you've got anything in the way of weather reports, let's see what's going on in your area tonight. Give us some amateur meteorology and show us what the temperature, rainfall amounts are, what your highs and lows were for the day. Put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to good use and let's see what's going on. Currently, we've got less than an hour until we switch over the seasons. It's almost here. About 8.54 p.m. will be the switch over to autumn, the official start of the next season coming on through. And looking again at some pretty warm temperatures out there, we haven't quite hit those cooler weather temperatures out there of of, cold, of the colder weather of fall out there, like Williams Skage, 59 degrees in Detroit. Not quite as cool as that. It would be nice for stuff like that. Eads, Tennessee, 65, cool. No rain. Jeff Livingston, thank you very much for that weather report there. And everybody else who's just joining us for tonight. Temperature today, 74. Regular temperature, normal is about 83. And 63 is our normal low. A little bit above on that, but definitely feeling nice to get those below normal temperatures out there. Only two-tenths of an inch plus in the rain gauge officially at Memphis International today, but that brings us up to nearly eight inches of rainfall, so doing very good on the amount of rain out there. And the rain will kind of help to settle the dust out there throughout the rest of the evening. Through tomorrow morning, there will be isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms right on in through sunrise and also into and around the area close to tomorrow afternoon. Looks like less of a chance of thunderstorms by Sunday night, but there will be that possibility of those showers and thunderstorms out there. And temperatures, again, are not going to be dropping that quickly. It's going to be in the upper 60s, and that's going to be about all that we see out there for right now. Avery Nellum, 72 in Ripley, Mississippi. Heavy rain and wind this afternoon. Thank you very much for that one. 56 in Campbell, Ohio. Monica Russell, welcome to the show from well outside the uh, News Channel 3 viewing area. Jody Radikoff Fisher, what should the 800 runners expect at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning? Well, unfortunately, you're going to have that potential for more showers and thunderstorms out there, so uh, be prepared for some showers. Hopefully, again, no thunderstorms, but we probably have a pretty good chance of seeing that coming up here in the course of the next few hours. Uh, rest of the area tonight, again, more chance of rain missed in Hickory with Franklin Thomas Olds. Thank you very much and for that weather report, and welcome to the show. And everybody else checking on through Mountain Home Arc. Arkansas. Haven't been there for a while. 68. Tracy Hawkins Moneymaker. Welcome to the show. Light rain reported there. Thank you very much on that one. Currently, again, good news for travelers. The construction, which was ongoing for the early part of the weekend, <clears throat> excuse me, from TDOT at Memfix 4 going on at 240 in Poplar, that was accomplished ahead of schedule for today. So all lanes at this area are open once again, north, south, east, west, no detours taking place right now, and all the construction wrapped up for this time around. But as we go into the next couple of weeks on October 5th and October 12th, going to be some major shutdowns through here again. But for this weekend, Everything is moving along quite nicely at this time, so very good news on that. Deborah Houghton Hobson, 67, in Walls, Mississippi. Thank you very much for that weather report right there. 85 degrees and raining in Ruston, Louisiana. Misty Nicole Morris, thank you very much for that one. Speckles of rainfall across the area. Let me put this into motion so everybody can see more about what's going on. Showers redeveloping across the metro area. I-240, I-40 loop right through there at Mississippi River and downtown Memphis. 
Memphis on the left-hand side of your screen as more showers continue to redevelop on Storm Tracker 3S. Thunderstorms from earlier that caused delays in the game and the cleanup at Ole Miss and Oxford. Most of those are moving away. Some thunderstorms down to around Tupelo for this evening. And that's about the heaviest that we've seen across much of the Mid-South. Some of the heavier showers from around I-40, Forest City, all the way back through the boot hill around Dyersburg. So if you're traveling tonight in some parts of the area, this is what you're going to be winding up with, with more chances of rainfall into and around the area. My wife, Melissa Onik, joining us from House Onik tonight, uh, saying hello to her and also to my daughter, if she's still there or probably has moved on from the evening and heading on back to the apartment, I would guess, at this time. Love you both. Thank you very much. 68 degrees and chilly in Bartlett. Paulette Anders, thank you very much. Don Garner, two inches of rain in New Bern, Tennessee. Thank you very much uh, for that one. 72 in Oxford. Nancy Warren Cooper, thanks a lot for the report of rainfall there. Heaviest showers and thunderstorms storms again mainly south of Tupelo heading away from us here and most of the activity from earlier in middle Tennessee right now so pretty well gone from much of the rest of the mid-south. Temperatures in the area very pleasant compared to where we were just about 24 hours ago back into around the area of the lower to mid 60s across much of the mid-south and very much on the area showing again some very cool conditions uh, out across the area for tonight so looking at some pretty good conditions out there for right now but some decently heavy rain Rainfall across much of the Mid-South with about two inches of rain around Arkansas State in Jonesboro. Almost two inches at Pemiscott County R3 School. 72 in Eureka Springs, Mississippi. April Hens, thank you very much uh, for tuning in there. Pouring on 440 East, Melissa Williams. Thank you very much for that. Uh, appreciate the check-in from there. 71 degrees at Ole Miss and 64 hundredths of an inch of rain reported there. All right, running the numbers into the rest of the evening. More of the same. Not much of anything in the way of dry weather for this weekend, that's for certain. So stargazing is right out as, as well as going out without the umbrella because overnight through midnight and into very early tomorrow morning, going to be that possibility of more showers and thunderstorms into and around the area for tomorrow morning. Heading out to church, Sunday school, wherever you're going, pack the umbrella and some patience and some extra time on the roadways just to be on the safe side as we're going to see this mess of showers and thunderstorms continue across the area as we get into tomorrow afternoon. Now, so far, flash flooding, kind of a threat earlier, doesn't really look to be that much of a threat for right now, so good news, and no signs of anything involving severe weather as we go throughout the rest of the weekend, so very good news where that's concerned. Also, some very pleasant temperatures out there back in the lower 70s across much of the Mid-South. Scattered showers in Covington. Eric Landry, thank you very much. Uh, for that one. Everybody else, uh, thank you very much for checking on through uh, for tonight. Sherry Lowe Underwood, race 10K at Shelby Farms at 7. Yeah, unfortunately, you're going to have, again, the potential for those showers and thunderstorms out there. Pretty much widespread chance across the area throughout the entire day. Now, through tomorrow at dinner time. Sunday evening looks like it's going to be switching over to mainly just plain showers, but through most of the day there is going to be that potential of thunderstorms out there. Not great chances, but pretty widespread chances of rain with thunderstorms kind of embedded in there throughout the rest of the day. So again, something to uh, consider there if you've got any outdoor plans. This is going to be quite nice again tomorrow, but as our next storm system gears up and heads our direction, as that thing spins in from the west, winds will be coming up out of the south ahead of that system, and that's why we're going to bump the numbers way up for Monday, as well as getting more chances of showers and thunderstorms. That threat will stick around right on in through about Tuesday, and we seem to be getting a lot more showers and thunderstorms out there. Now, not exactly cooler, but not the heat that we saw last week. It'll be a little bit warmer toward the beginning of the week, end of the week back in the upper 70s to the lower 80s, and chances of rain finally start to kind of dwindle by a little bit, so there's not much of anything else out there for right now. Uh, Chad Kraska, 57, in Madison, Wisconsin. Thanks for checking in. And uh, say hello to my friend Rick Bloom, who works up at a TV station up there. I'm not too sure which one, but uh, 
worked with him a long time ago back in Topeka, Kansas. Well, went to church with him anyway, so thanks very much for that one. Uh, rest of the area tonight, thanks to everybody for checking on through and for checking in for tonight. Rest of the forecast extended outwards. Again, numbers back in the lower 80s and showing again temperatures pretty close to normal for this time of the year, so we're just not looking at too much into and around the area for right now in the way of very cool weather, as in get the jacket out, fall is coming, nearing the 40s type weather. That's not happening for right now, but at least we're moderating the temperatures, so we're not into the 90s for the foreseeable future. That at least is something you got to admit, so some fairly good news there. Now, back into the tropics. After what was left of Florence departed the East Coast states and kind of wandered on through the eastern areas, it wandered out to sea and there wasn't all that much of it. And things quieted down for a while. Things were very nice and quiet. Not the same way for tonight. We've got four systems going on across much of the Atlantic at this point in time. We have a non-tropical low way out into the northern Atlantic, northeast of Bermuda. This is looking stronger. It looks looking like it's going to wander a little bit farther to the south and to the west. We do have a tropical storm, Kirk, right off the coast of Africa and wandering out into the Atlantic. We also have a tropical depression, number 11, that also making its way toward the Windward Islands and over toward Hispaniola. Could this be a threat for Puerto Rico and into that area of the Bahamas? A little too early to tell right now, but it is possible. This is where it starts getting a little bit kind of uh, iffy for where we're talking about right now. Currently, it's just an area of investigation. It's labeled Invest 98L. It's just a designation from the National Hurricane Center. What you're looking at right here that's curving back to the southwest about a week ago, this was a Category 1 hurricane on its way towards shoreline and making tons of rainfall for the Carolinas. It now looks like what is left of Florence is going to be curving its way back to the southwest and eventually turning its way back to the northwest at this time. Now, some of the computer models going out farther from here looks like it is taking it closer to the East Coast states. Whether or not it comes ashore as a direct threat for more rainfall, that's a little bit too early to tell for right now. But through about Monday, looks like it's going to be just offshore. A lot of the computer models are showing this thing as just a tropical storm. We're not seeing anything in the way of major amounts of problems from this yet. But if you're heading toward uh, the Carolinas, again, some areas experiencing a lot of problems, including major roadways around Wilmington, seeing a lot of problems there. So keep attuned to News Channel 3. We'll keep you updated on what was uh, Florence and may become another storm in the next few days. We'll see how well that goes. Now a little bit farther to the south, this next storm system, 11, is going to be making its way over, again, the Windward Islands. Could be a threat to Puerto Rico. We'll see how well that goes in the next few days. Kirk is way out into the Atlantic, also following along on the Levin's heels, so we'll see how well that goes. But for right now, that's going to, again, give us an idea as to what's going on and to what to pay attention to. We'll have more from the National Hurricane Center on the number uh, 11 storm and also, again, throughout the rest of this. This will change by tomorrow morning, so tune into News Channel 3 Daybreak for more uh, on that. Family driving across Arkansas towards Texas tomorrow. How will the weather be? Uh, we'll take one more look at that forecast in just a little bit. Darlene Hill Handley, thank you very much uh, for that one. Ricky Phelps, ready for fall. Yes, absolutely. Less than an hour to go and looking for some cooler weather conditions out there. Melissa Porterfield Trice, driving home from Atlanta tomorrow around noon. Will it be a rainy drive? Uh, unfortunately, yes, from what it looks like right now. Could be some opportunities for that throughout the rest of the forecast out there. Thanks to everybody for tuning in for tonight. James R. Gulledge, nice view of the trees from around Humboldt, Tennessee. To see with a bit of a shower and some sunshine out there in a steamy Friday afternoon from Humboldt, Tennessee. S Womack S or S Womack underscore WX. Nice view of some of the clouds at sunset from last night. So thank you very much uh, for that one. Didn't get a location on there, but a beautiful shot there. And great news, a uh, guest that was featured a few weeks ago when I had a chance to be on Live at 9 for Todd Demers, Franco Contaldo, the chef that was on Live at 9, is going to be joining us on Live at 9 on a semi-permanent basis. And the sauce that he made in this dish, I can't remember the name of it for the life of me, but it was delicious. Looking forward to Chef Contaldo joining us on Live at 9 in the next several weeks. So looking forward to seeing 
seeing what he cooks up for us then. More information, more of your weather pictures out there, please tweet them to us, send them to me, again, via email. We'd love to see what you've got out there and share it with everybody, but we can't show them if you don't send them, so you see the problem I'm running into. Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter, Aonic no underscore necessary WREG3 on Instagram, and Austinonic WREG on Facebook if you'd like to know more. Catch up with my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on the radio with Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. Coming up in a little bit less than an hour, that should be about 8.39, somewhere in there, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Join me on Periscope, Twitter, and my own Facebook page. We'll take a look at whether where the troops are and give you an idea as to what we may be looking for when it comes to chances of showers and thunderstorms here in the Mid-South area and then also in many other locations around the rest of the world. So we'll give you an idea as to what we're going to be looking for there. Those of you who are going to be driving different places tomorrow, again, better chances of showers and thunderstorms as you were asking about uh, in the comments section. So we're going to be seeing more chances of showers and thunderstorms tonight, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, and tomorrow evening. So you're going to be seeing again more chances of those showers and thunderstorms all the way throughout the rest of the day and into tomorrow so no matter where you're traveling definitely want to make certain that you plan ahead for some extra time and less speed on the roadways so no matter where you're going tomorrow across the mid-south plan for rainfall and the potential of again some thunderstorms out there again doesn't look like severe weather but it's something that we really need to pay attention to so keep it tuned to the weather experts for more information about that that'll wrap it up for tonight's early edition of news channel 3's exclusive video weather blog weather overtime weather where the troops are and more of your weather pictures coming up at about 8 45 tonight on my facebook page and of course we'll have an update on the news tonight Kristen holloway with news megan rice with sports and of course i'll have more coming up on your complete updated forecast as well so stick around for more on that live and direct from downtown memphis tennessee i'm meteorologist austin onyx stick around for a lot more with news channel three throughout the rest of the weekend